Is it time for me to review some Lego Star Wars? Oh no! What's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and about a month ago I was asked to go to this and it finally happened and check this out. This was an invitation to the 20th anniversary exhibition preview here in Hong Kong for the Lego Star Wars. So what did I do and what is that exactly? I used my little camera. This is a DJI pocket camera. It's actually really cool by the way. I gotta do a review for this one on my other channel, which is my dying channel of product gear. Yeah, should I start that back up again? Anyway, sound might kinda suck, but we went to go check out this place and I used this. So check out the footage. Here it is. And let me know what you think, yeah? Welcome back. Do you pick me up? Scotty. Scotty. And I'm Tyler. Bring me up, Scotty and Tyler. Yay. I'm hot and sweaty because I just tried to get Tyler ready. We're going to a special invitation. So, and they allowed me to bring you guys along. So yeah, I love Lego, man. Tyler. Do you love Lego? Okay, you ready to go? Let's put on your shoes. Let's go. Go, put your shoes on. I'll follow you. All right. Wow, look at those escalators. They broke once before. Look how high we are. This is Langham Place. There's a reason why I never got into this theme. There's too much stuff to get. That's really cool, the Ewok Village. That's actually pretty nuts, man. Where do you guys put all this stuff? It's like one giant stud. That scares me. Yo, Darth Vader. Oh, but his saber is not Lego, man. Just so you guys know, this is the Langham Lego shop in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah, Lego movie too. We could use this in my office. Here's Tyler enjoying himself. Tyler, Tyler, are you having fun? Having fun? Yeah? Oh ho! Horror. Oh, oh. It's a little prince. Why is it cool? Dark or I think I'm gonna put one of these in my office. Yes. Pick a brick wall. Yeah. Look at them colors. So many colors. New Dragon Ball Festival! I'm picking mine up right now. Look. Out of stock? Yeah, right. More Star Wars display. Are these still available, the Pod Racers? That's cool. The size of this brick. Yeah. A Duplo wall, guys. Inspiration for you? There you go. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like the gold bar down here. 
This is 15,000 bricks. This is by far the coolest thing ever, man. This is a replica of Hong Kong, Hong Kong, and this is the streets. Look at this thing. Damn it, the glass reflection is blocking everything. Here, I'll try to do it from this angle. Take a moment to appreciate this beautiful, magnificent city. This is the shopping mall you guys just saw us at the top of the escalators. We're over here somewhere. You saw us looking from there, looking down earlier. Dang, imagine having one of these in the office. In case you're wondering, that was designed by Alex and Andy. Andy's a certified pro man. He does like 100% of all the Lego displays here in Hong Kong. Pretty cool. This one doesn't look so steady, man. I might have to get this one. Oh no. Do I really have to review Star Wars stuff? Each one of those are studs, man. Can you imagine putting all those together to make that? Look at that. That is amazing. That's the Star Ferry. There's the skyline. Hong Kong. Oh yeah. Very cool. We just came home from the Lego shop and oh there goes Titan gonna eat a dinner. And what do we get today? Look, we got some gifts from Lego. Shall we, yeah. open? Shall we open it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's Ida, there, everybody. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait. You gotta tear it open. Here, we're gonna open it together. Okay, ready? Here's our free gift haul. Look at that. <gasps> it's a pod racer. We caught one. Anakin Pod Racer, Tyler. See what else we got here? Ooh. Star Wars 40333. This looks like a really small build. And of course, as you saw earlier, that was out of stock and unavailable. Was this Dragon Boat Race. Tell everyone, pick me up! You have fun watching that? Well, you know, you can always go visit the store if you're in Hong Kong. Go to Langham. It's really cool. That display that that guy Andy made is amazing, man. Here they are. Yes, Tyler does not get to touch these. He gets his own set. I'm going to open these up right now. Should we just do an unboxing here and do a quick speed build? Yeah. So the camera's back behind me. So we got this point of view now. Should be much easier. Check it out. This is Lego Star Wars 40333 Battle of Hoth. 20th anniversary edition. Simple? Is it that simple? Let's try it out. Remember when you cut, slice this way? Now I swore I was never gonna do a Lego Star Wars theme build just because I got too much stuff, man. And your know, Star Wars is really study looking too, in my opinion. But Lego did gift me with Cloud City. So I guess what? I'm gonna review Cloud City for you guys right after this. So let's check it out. This shouldn't take too long to build. We'll put the box there. We don't need the box, we need the table. We'll scatter the pieces like that. See how fast Scotty can build this. Uh, sorry, it's going to be time lapse anyway. And here we go. Dance, dance, da 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 dance, dance, da 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 dance, dance, da 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 dance.
I'm just gonna whistle like all day long to the thing. What do we all think of the new trailer, yeah? For the new movie? I think it looks amazing, even though it's just a teaser. I'm a Star Wars fan, for real, I am. I just did not want to start this stuff, man. Then I'll never be able to fit this in the office. Oh man, oh man, oh man. <clears throat> I'm still sick, by the way. I was sick when I went to this event. I didn't want to tell anyone either. I probably infected everyone there. Because that's just how I am. I will infect everybody. I'm like a fan, but not like crazy details. I just remember the films. Do you guys really get an enjoyment out of doing these speed builds? I'm just curious. Like, am I blocking? I'm, my fat fingers and hands are probably blocking this entire frame. But anyway, sit back, have a drink, relax, listen to me talk, maybe not. These are cool ideas. They should make base plates just like this for bigger sets, just for fun. Drive everyone crazy. I have an excuse for not being able to find a piece, man. I'm sick, remember? I'm putting pieces all the wrong way. There we go, finished guys. Had a mistake here on the face, had it upside down, but hey, there it is. It's done, it's complete. Is that too small for you? Is that not worth it? So that didn't take long at all. Personally, I love the idea of how they made a base plate using bricks instead of actually just giving you a base plate and kind of cheating it. That looks really cool, man. I had to face on backwards, but it's right now. Look at that. That is so neat. I love the little attention to detail. Oh, oh, you almost fell down. It's okay, little boy. Hang in there, hang in there. Put you right back there. Yeah, there you go. That's cool you can animate the guy though. The attach, the ATT. Very neat indeed, there. Yeah, all right, he's safe now. All right, so I just realized that this is actually a free gift. If you purchase something over X amount of dollars, you get this, but I think this is a limited short run. I'm not sure. Anyway, still a very cool set. There's that, I like it a lot, even though it's really small and minimal. Cool detail, and thank you for the gift. Lego Certified Store Hong Kong Kidland. What else did they gift us with? The Pod Racer, Anakin's Pod Racer. Yes, let's do this. Let's do it right now. So this is Lego Star Wars. 75258 Anakin's Pod Racer 20th Anniversary Edition. Swipe out. Let's pull out the pieces. Oh, numbered bag. This one's definitely gonna be a lot bigger than the other one. Yeah, let's unbag this and build it right now. Again, I'll try not to block with my hand, but sometimes I just cannot tell. Hopefully it looks okay. Excuse my fat hands. I actually enjoyed the prequels. Okay, so they weren't the best, but I still enjoy them, from what I remember. I gotta go back and rewatch them again. In time for the new film. If I had to really review a Star Wars set, which one would you want me to do? Which one would you want me to give it justice to? Showing the figures in slow motion, showing those beautiful close-up shots. You let me know, I'm just curious. I might do it, I'm not sure. Cloud City will definitely be first. So battery on all these machines. Worst thing that can happen is the camera shut down on me. I just go boosh. No battery, no audio. Pipes. Oh, Danny boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Me. 
And there it is, Anakin Pod Racer. Now I remember I was looking at the display going, they have that? Is that new? So here it is. This is actually really cool. I like this a lot. If you're a Star Wars fan, we're gonna get them all anyway. But I actually really like this. I thought this was actually really neat, man. That is so cool. Look at that. The transparency piece there that goes along the middle, they should use more of those for sets to like make things look like it's floating. The design for the pod racer itself is actually really awesome, man. I really like it. I love this engine piece here. Both sides, they replicate each other. But look at the detail on that. It's actually really good for using such small pieces. And of course you got the cockpit area, very simple. Lots of little stickers there, but it looks nice. I like it. Man, I might have to get the other ones now. Now let's take a look at the figures. I had no idea this actually came with a Luke Skywalker minifig. That's actually really cool. I like the shiny platform that he stands on. So this is 1999's Luke Skywalker version. I'm not sure if they've had this in previous sets or not, because you know, it's my first time looking at a Star Wars set here with you guys. He looks really cool. It does look kind of basic, so it's kind of cool that they did go back to basics, especially on the face. But he still has detail on the helmet, on his outfit, and I like the lightsaber. Yeah. And look at little Annie, ready to go to work or ride his pod racer. Yeah, printing looks fine. I like a little smirk there, goggles, tools, ready to fix his pod racer too. That's neat. And then we come to Padme Amidala. I like the hair piece, man. That's actually really cool how it drops down like that. It's got a blaster and you know, she's there to protect little Annie. So there you go. Thank you so much, Lego Certified Store Hong Kong Kidsland for gifting me with these. Go follow them on Instagram, Facebook, you know, you can't understand Chinese, but you can like the photos, it'd be fun. Thank you guys so much for the invitation. Hope you guys enjoyed that little video with the speed build, the time for Star Wars. Let me know in the comments, yeah? All right, you guys, until next time, bring me up. One, two, three, go. Where you go? Put your, put your hands out of your mouth. You're welcome back to pick me up, Scotty. You want to show them my collection? Just the ones here in the house. All right, let's take it out. I'm working on Steamboat Willie right now. We got to get out of here so we can go to the store. It's almost complete, but this is where I usually work from home. You guys have seen the video before of doing some unboxings from home. Here's the corner garage from Lego, and here are some other alternative sets that I've been working on. These are from Enlighten. There's the McDonald's from Sembo. That's actually kind of cool. I like the French fry look and a lot of people are requesting for this one. It's done. There it is, the fire truck. What else we got here? I gotta put these back in the office. These are all the Chinese New Year sets, but I also have a couple of the Pandos fairground, like playground circus thingy. Oh, I knocked over the clown. I like the clown, he's kind of cool. And I think Lego is actually coming out with a circus set, yeah? That'll be interesting. And that, my friends, is freaky. And one more thing here is, don't be like me. Don't use your closets to store stuff because man, look at all that stuff. I gotta build these. Got some architectures up there. Gonna work our way down. Can you guys guess what that one is? I'll let you guys guess. You probably just saw the number. Then we got the Ferris wheel, carousel. Then we get to the more expensive stuff here. Tower bridge, woohoo. Been waiting for this one. Man, the condition of the boxes are actually really good on these. Look at that. Grand Emporium. And then let's see what else we got here. Pull this open. Oh, what is this one? Can you guys see what that is? The Fire Brigade. So there you go. Don't be like me and use your closets for sets. I know. I gotta build these things, man.